<laughs> You're six again, man. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> My mind is blown. So I'm driving to an event right now and I found something on Facebook Marketplace that is pretty special to reminisce on childhood memories. Growing up, Garrett and I had four wheelers. That was our go-to toy. You know, we weren't much of dirt bikers. We were all about the four wheelers, you know? We, so we had an acreage we'd ride on. We'd always bug our dad. We'd come up from work like, dad, take us on a trail ride. Take us on a trail ride. In reality, he was just having us follow him through neighborhoods. And we just thought it was like the coolest thing ever. Well, I turned five years old. My grandfather gave me his Suzuki LT80 that he used as a pit bike when he used to race with McDonald's. And then when Garrett turned three years old, he got a Suzuki LT80 as well. And on Facebook Marketplace, this guy has 12 Suzuki LT80s for sale. All right guys, I've made it over to the spot and I gotta say I'm reminiscing on some old memories. This is crazy because I haven't seen one of these machines up close in a long time, probably 15, 20 years. So let me show you guys what he's got here. Check this setup out, dude. I love it. And so you've been kind of put piecing these things together over time, right? Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, you know, like I said, my 20 year old grew up on that yellow one and he was four. The yellow and black one or the yellow and white yellow one? Yellow and black. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, you got to keep know, that machine forever. Once I got the first one and see how, you know, we can ride them as well. Right. You just start adding on and then I don't know how it ended up, you know, getting this far, but. Um, you know, you, you always can pick up some good deals. So you've been picking these yep. things up and kind of piecing together the fenders and the engines and repainting frames and new belts and et cetera, et cetera, exactly. right? Exactly. Cool, you man. You know, time goes by, you just get another one running and then another one running. So it kind of gets, you know, more exciting, especially when you got a family of seven. <laughs> we all can ride. Busy yeah. house, busy house, yeah, man. Yeah. I love it, dude. Well, so you've got... the some of them for sale not all of them correct? yeah obviously you know uh there's a obviously you don't want to sell your sons he's had forever i mean that's yeah. a, that's a great machine <laughs> and there. then you got some mint ones that it's they got a lot more money into them not that i want to overprice them but which, which ones are your like mint this machines one, I, would, I wouldn't sell for no less than three yeah grand. that cow is sick <laughs> <laughs> so my machine had red fenders a yellow nose and a yellow tank and then uh garrett's machine was yellow fenders with a black nose and black tank yeah. Black C. So my machine kind of more resembled this one because it didn't have the warning sticker on the fender and then it but these fenders were red and then this was like identical to what Garrett's machine was. That thing's sick. Um this one's for sale, which this. it's all about only thing you gotta pick up for this is the Yeah. You know, these well, since you know the yellow tanks and those are kinda hard to come by, I'm probably gonna keep the red fenders and then do a wrap on the black nice. to make a white. Or yellow, I mean, you know what I mean? Nice. I went ahead and picked them up. Oh my gosh, I remember that, yeah, dude. That's then, so weird. I yeah. haven't seen that in forever. Not that. We used to steal our dad's tools and hide them in our... In our <laughs> even the stock tool kit that comes yep. with it? Yep. No way. Yeah, man. I forgot, are these pre mix or do they have... Is this is the oil tank. This they is the oil tank. They are pre but everybody knows once that gives out, you know, then, you, then you, you're, you're looking at a new cylinder, new piston. Yeah. So we go ahead and eliminate it. We premix, and you won't have that problem. They'll just so you just pre you premix all of them. You don't even use the oil tank. Yeah, these are gonna be like these are gonna be worth something one day yeah. for sure. It's I mean banshees are are yeah. Is that a Raptor over there too? That's a LTZ. LTZ you got yeah. the banshee, dude. The banshees are classics. Yeah, that one. Yes, you can see I did my own thing to it. I, I am a retro, but I like the stock. But it's sick. Yeah. So these are similar to the Banshee. They stopped making them in 2006. What, the Cowies? Or no, the LT80s. What was these. the first year they made them? Wow, 1987. I was going to say, I think I think mine's like or an 87. 87. 87 or 89. I got mine when I turned 5, which was in 96. And it wow. was that those fenders right there. So, wow. I don't know what year that yellow and white one is. This is uh, 89, I believe. Yeah, so mine was probably an 80s machine. And then they switched to the different fender style fenders. Probably in the 90s, right? Yep, yep. Then you got that mustard one out there, mustard and blue. That's about, that's probably about the oldest the one. The oldest you one you got? Yep. Dude, these are sick. I can't wait to rip them around. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. Some of them I put, you see, you see they still got the hairs on the tires. 
Yeah, and, they eat tires. I know that. Um, Duro is probably the best bet. So it's on there now? Um, to stock? Yeah, closest you're going to get. And then the Wanda's in the back. But, hmm. um, I like why, do you, why do you stagger the tires? Say it again? Why do you stagger a different brand of tires, or is that just what you had in stock? No, laying that's, around? that's how they come uh, originally stocked. Oh, really? Yep. No yeah, way. If you look at all of them, see, this is, these are original. See, uh, these are Dunlop. Mm -hmm. You can tell they already have some, um, some dry rot. But you see Dunlop. Yep. And then they're Dunlop in the back. That's how they come originally. <laughs> yeah, man. So I try to keep it as you, stock as possible. Do you remember? There was. A, I remember there's a specific issue with mine. Like any time I jumped it, yeah, it would have had it needed like a full rebuild. Do you know anything about? Do you remember anything about that? Yes. Have you ever had that issue? Well, this right here. A lot of people take remove this. I remove the skid them. plates. Yeah, I removed them on some of the ones I've been working on. I just haven't put them back, but. To me, the most uh, you know uh, information I receive, you either crack your case or you you know just like you said. But I've never heard anybody jumping in and you know you needing a full rebuild so, unless you crack the engine. It, it must have been what it was. Yeah, you must crack have been, the cases because they're, they're aluminum. Yeah. Um, they're no, they're cast aluminum. Mm -hmm. So without that, you you run a big risk of cracking them. Right. The whole case in half. Man, I love these things. <laughs> so, they're so cool. Yeah. I'm like blown up with memories right now. Even just looking at them, looking at like the foot brake lock, the handlebars. It's it's really cool to see, man. Yeah. I, 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 I'm going to have a hard time letting them go unless I get, like I said, I was probably saying the 2,500 to 3,000. Yeah. Yep. Well, I like this machine a lot. Yep. What are, what's the other ones that are for sale? The two that are outside? Yeah, the two that are outside. Um, you know, like I said, they all got the same uh, treatment. Yeah. Um, so you said this is like the oldest machine you've got. That's the oldest one, and you know, it's still running strong. I mean, what's really the difference between these two here? Just the color. Just the color. <laughs> yeah. the same engine and everything. Same engine, everything's the same. It's just the color. It's yep. So sick. Just the mustard instead of that bright yellow. Yep. And. Uh, Yeah, I like how this one has intact plastics. Yep, white, which I have one. I don't know if you've seen it. No, I didn't. Oh, you have it taken apart? Ah, uh, yeah, it's all stripped down. It's a rare unit right there. Did yeah. they come with blue frames, or are you usually going to repaint that well, frame? Well, actually, this blue frame goes with white plastics, blue seat, blue tank, blue nose. Okay. But... I somehow came around this blue frame and I said, you know, I may have to paint it. Huh. Yeah. Cool. But I'm looking to get that one running you know, a few weeks. Nice, dude. But it's, a, it's you know, something to... Well, I guess the time has come. I need to pick out two of these machines. <laughs> I like this one a lot. All right. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking to get on this one, this scene right here? Um, this one, it does have the newer tires on it. Pretty much the same thing. Only the one this, the only thing this needs... Need to, I'm not worried about that because yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna so, wrap I mean, it up. I'd like to get the 18 for it. Okay. Um, you know, I could show you a parts list on everything. I mean, everything. I probably got 12 of everything on my cart, but um, you know, you you you'll be. Uh, now let's talk about these machines out here because I got I. I really want to get the yellow and black tank. But I don't like the cracked plastic on yeah. it, because that's like just yeah. a pain in the butt to yeah, go yeah. figure that out. I mean, you can pick, you can always pick one up. I mean, it's not hard, but that is the most sought after uh, fender, because somehow that is the one that always. Are cracks. they pretty easy to get? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You go on eBay, you you find one. Okay. You just have to have a, you have to have a search alerted already, yeah. activated. So when it pops up, you go in and pick it up. Um, but. They're not. Th these are actually the easiest ones to pick up. This color and the red. But, um, you know, these older ones, this is hard to... And what do you want for this unit? I'd say... I'd say 15. 15? Okay. Yep. All right, well, he and I are going to talk. I'm going to put the camera down for a bit, and we'll figure out which machines we're going to end up with, but... Starts right up, dude. They do take a little while to warm up, don't they? Yeah, yeah. I got. I gotta ride one of these. <laughs> I got it, dude. You wanna ride that uh, uh 
The other one out there? Yeah. Let's whichever do it. one you want, it doesn't matter. Let's do it. <laughs> Which one? This one? I'm thinking the yellow with the blue. This one. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> huh? That life, right? a exactly. It's better to smoke a little bit than not at all. Exactly. <laughs> so, one thing that we learned how to do is how to ride on two wheels in these things. Oh yeah, yeah. Put put the uh yeah. Put the brake on. Yep. Put the brake on. Put the uh no. Put the uh the choke up. Remember, we didn't we didn't uh, let it warm up too much. There you go. Crazy! I like reach down for the chug like I did for a while. Like 20 years. Clicked ago. in. It clicked in. It totally clicked. That's crazy. Yeah, he's back to his old days, man. He feels six again. <laughs> so many good memories, man. So I could put the idle up if yeah, if. Yeah, probably gotta adjust the idle. Yeah. Uh, half quarter turn or something. Yeah. Let's get the red one out here. Alright, man. If I'm taking that thing, I gotta ride all that right, one too. <laughs> this one, brakes are a little squeaky. Oh man, he's live again. We're live back. We're back, baby. <laughs> We're on the red unit now. <laughs> You're six again, man. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> My mind is blown. Yeah, that one does have the little squeaky brakes, but um. Right tight on the front. Yep. I remember I'd stick my foot in here. To... Ah! Like that. I, 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 that. Nope, I never done that. Now you're, now you're gonna do it. <laughs> Man. Counterclockwise to turn it up. Uh, yeah, counterclockwise to turn it down. I'm sorry. Clockwise to turn it up. Say your goodbyes. Hey, you want to give them a kiss or anything? Somebody's happy. Nah. Nah, we'll be happy. Yeah. I'm gonna be ripping it. My kids will be ripping on my brother, his kids. How old are you? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. No kids. No kids yet. Oh man. So this uh, by the end of this year. Working on it. It's a work in progress. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guys, get them out now. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it. Gotta get them out now, man. All right, guys, that wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you tomorrow. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper, and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.